if, if you're a church, right? Let, let, this is how bad it would be. If you're a church and you painted, like you had the rainbow, because the rainbow is a symbol that God mm. used as a promise yeah, yeah, yeah. during the floods. To say this is not going to happen. It's yeah. not going to happen. So you, you could... <laughs> Put it out there. Nobody like this church is fruity. (laughs) (laughs) For the fruity. This church is fruity. Don't go to that church. No, no, but that's I don't want to go to it. No, no, not even that. There are some gay people that are Christians and all. So they might think it's for them. No, but what you (laughs) that's true. So so they will turn up. It's a congregation of just gay people. But that's the point I'm trying to make. No, what I'm saying is they would think, you know, because... And, and there's because, nothing wrong with that. Because, like, the church, the Anglican church... Hold on, hold on. First of all, why is there something wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with well, that. Well, fundamental Christians would tell you the Bible is against, you know, homosexuality. So and that they will be that right. Cannot, that cannot be married. And they will be right. Um, I don't know about whether they will be right. They will be right because, because some people Bible. also... Inter- no, it's a man sleeping with men is the hey, taboo. Hey, I've heard them... Um, what's that? I forgot the Anglican priest name in, in the UK anyway. Actually, sorry, it's and, not a taboo, it's a sin. It's, and he's, he's, he's used the Bible to justify why it's not a sin and how it was misconstrued. So, so I don't know. He's used the, the Bible to justify... Yeah, but you're using the Bible to say it's, it's a no, sin. No, what are you no, using to I'm say it's a sin? I'm telling you what he says in the Bible. It? I'm not justifying That's why I just told you. He's also using Bible quotations... As to say that you know it's not a sin, I would I, like to hear this. So you could go, you, it's a, probably on YouTube somewhere. I would, because he's a I'm gay, bo- he's a, a gay, like you know. That's probably someone. why. What do you mean? That's, that's what, because you also because the other people. Listen, are, I'm not, listen I, I couldn't care less. If you have a gay church, that's fine. <laughs> so hey, listen, if you have me in there, I know what I walked into. Okay, all I'm saying, all I'm, I'm trying just to say, is, like, if somebody's if, going to defend, use the Bible to defend them being gay, it's because they're gay. Yeah. But it's the same way people use the Bible to justify the reason why they're Christians. So, because they're Christians. All I'm trying to tell you is, most no, of them are not going to use the, the Bible to... That's the point of the Bible. You can't... No, you can't, oh, no. This, no. This, this the Bible... This is what I'm about to tell you. This is what I'm about to tell you. This is what I'm about to tell you. You can't be a Christian and be using the Quran to defend Christianity. That's well, what just, I'm saying. You just can't do that. That's what I'm, And that's the point I'm trying to make. So if you're Christian, and now, because what you're doing, what you're saying now, right, it's like, yeah. take, take gay away. Right. If you take the hom- no, we've been gay. Let, I'm also using the word Let's, homosexuality. Take Let's the take, fruity away. <laughs> take the homosexuality away. Right. right. If you look at it from the section of you're a Catholic, you are a Jehovah Witness, you're a Pentecostal, you're an Anglican. They're all using the Bible to justify the small rituals that differentiate them. Which is what I don't understand, by the way. You understand I, the point I, I'm I trying to make? I understand that, but I, but, but I so the same way I understand your comment, but I don't understand how that's possible. Just well, it is. <laughs> they're doing really, it. That's the reality. <laughs> but it, and, and so, it so makes, the same way. But, but like, it's like it's like it's like Muslim, right? They have yeah. two different doctrine of it. One for the far left, and one for mm. the far right. Okay, <laughs> that's it. If you eat, you either or you either you either one of them. But Christianity is the one where you have over a thousand, like even a million. If I'm not exaggerating, <laughs> variation <laughs> of it. But they use the one, one, one <laughs> the Bible. So you go, hold on. And then they go, don't go to that church. Of go course. To this church. You go, hold on. Like, hold, hold just wait, wait a second here. Like, so if I don't, if I go to that church and I don't come to your church, then I'm not following the Bible. Look, I, I, and that's the point I was going to make. And this is not, not to turn this into like um, a Christian bashing I think we thing. have already. You know, honest, but... like I was having this conversation with one of the... <sighs> The pastor. No, not even a pastor. No, those people that think, you know, they, they, no, they, you should have a conversation with pastors. Don't yeah. have a conversation with followers of pastors. No, no, they, 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 don't, they, don't, they don't claim they're followers of they say they're followers of the Bible. That's what they claim. Okay. So they could be a pastor themselves. But it's just that they don't refer to themselves as one. But they keep okay. using all these quotations and stuff. And I ask them, and you know, like when you quote something, right? You know, they'll say one thing, right? And then you quote another verse to try and say that, look, that's what the Bible says. And he goes, you know, you misinterpret. I'm like, what what makes you think your interpretation is right? Because I have the Holy Ghost. That's what they claim. <laughs> and I'm like, how do you know I don't have the Holy Ghost? Because you don't. How do you know? Because you're not saved. <laughs> anyway, let's you, talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because you're not a born again. <laughs> but but, it's, but they're say, not lying. They say though. you need... Oh, that's nonsense. I know. But they, no, no, they're not lying. They, they are, are lying. lying. You don't need to be born again to, to have the Holy Ghost. Even the Bible says that in Acts, anyway. Peter what, went to a, a guy's house. What Bible you reading? The same Bible they use. Okay, so then how come... I, I'll tell you the story anyway. And that's why I told you that these people don't know their own stories. Most of them anyway. They'll quote one bit and then if you quote another bit, they'll be like, you know, you are... And that's what they get. That's the way they get it as well. Hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Am I stop. running too fast? Stop. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Put a pin in it, okay? <laughs> hold on for one second. Yeah, because I feel emotional yeah, when but, I talk but, about these people. I, 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 and I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want the podcast to I, turn into I that. don't mind you being emotional. But be factually emotional, okay? Okay. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. So, so, so wait, 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 wait. Are you saying you can't believe and you can read the Bible and you can do all this stuff without being born again? 
There's is that nothing, what you're saying? There's like, nothing as born again. That's the point I'm trying to make to you. Okay, so what is... That's what I was going to say. Or the idea of born again is nonsense. Yeah, but, okay, so then factually explain that. Or explain it from your perspective as your opinion. Uh, let me put it this way. The simplest thing, yeah. right, you know, is this. You, you, you can go on two things. You can go, go with, as, as many as you want. You can go on what Christ himself says, which, which is, is look, if somebody believes, baptize them. And now you can re- refer to that as born again. Oh, cool. All right, cool. Because that I was going to say that. I was going to say that I'm born again, but you no, no, no. said that. that. Cool, okay. So cool. you can refer to that as yeah, born again. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Right. Or you can look at it as you know, if somebody, you know, Believes and those kind of stuff. Like I'll give you the simplest example. No, no, no. you give me the first scenario. It was yeah. very clear. Yeah, so I'm, 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 the second example. You don't need the baptism. So far as you believe, you're good. And that happened on the cross. Yeah, well, it happened on the cross. So Christ is about to die. Oh no, that's your opinion. No, that's your opinion. I'm talking about what Christ Himself did. Yeah, I know I'm not talking Christ, about okay. the Bible. Okay, I'm talking it's about not, that. That's not. This is an opinion. Yeah. So Christ said, if somebody believes, go preach. Right? If they believe. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and those kind of stuff. Yeah. Now, even he said just baptize. Now we can all go and argue about what baptism is from the Bible and the Bible call, you but know, that's situation of the Bible. Now, we're talking about the fact that you have to be born again. Yes, but that's okay. what I said. So that, so whatever I said that baptism born again means, means I said, I said it could else. be baptism. It could be, yeah. or it could be just believing. Because on the cross, right, Christ is hanged there. Two criminals on his left and right. Like, one criminal mocks him, the other that does not. That is your opinion. How is it my opinion? I'll tell you why that's your opinion. Go on. The first one is mm-hmm. not your opinion. It's in the Bible. Okay? Baptize, go preach and baptize people. But he didn't say born again. He just said, if you if they believe, baptize yeah, them. He didn't say anything said, about born again. You said that. So that, that's... Is born again. Yeah. Th- so that, again, agree. that's my opinion. We, no, but why is it that now no, that's not an opinion? It's an opinion. It's an opinion. So that doesn't necessarily mean born again. It just means that, you know, this is the ritual no, you do when, if somebody when, believes. When general Christian people, I don't want to say yeah. followers, <laughs> general Christian believers oh that's a better word i like that when general christian believers talk about born again they mean baptism they mean they mean the first thing you said the second I've, thing you hold said, on have you have you heard about the holy ghost baptism that the, some christians preach about okay if they said that i mean according to knowledge that i know of the bible that that's wrong that, that's the point i keep saying that's wrong according <laughs> to knowledge i know of the bible that's wrong but i'm not going to say they're wrong but I'm just saying, again, according to knowledge, I don't know of the Bible, that's wrong. But your opinion of two men on the cross or whatever, the basically next to Jesus, right? Dying. Yeah. They're all dying, including Jesus. But but I was talking about what he said to the other I one. No. See, at that point... What, what, what's the point of being being, being being a born again? What's the point? To go to heaven, right? Isn't that the ultimate thing? To be saved. That's the ultimate thing about this whole baptism, this whole this whole gimmick that people are running and you know taking money off old women and shit. Let's that's what this. it is about. Let's get off this because like this conversation is gonna go to. It. That's what I just said. No, let's, 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 you know, I, I, no, you're right. I, I was thinking we can dive into it without diving into it, but right now I don't think we can do that. No, let's podcast. <laughs> let's do that. So continue what you're saying. Let's go. <laughs> let's, let's let's get off this. Okay. <laughs> so. Continue what you say with the sex no, education. Anyway, so there's this comprehensive, you know, sexuality education program that people claim they've set their eyes on in, in my country, Ghana. Right. And this is talking about, you know, educating boys and girls as young as six years old to do up what? to their teenage about sex, about, you know, sexual. Okay, you know, so how do they even plan on doing that? Well, well, so to six years old, like I don't, it, I don't know, I don't know I how mean, they're gonna break is, it. Oh, yeah, but, but it's like education, so they will be, be breaking. It's like how do you teach six year old maths? What is anyway. going on? I don't know. Well, not but, you don't bring this up. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna explain. That. I'm trying to explain to you the facts that are out there now. No, stop, stop, stop. Because you're about to rush me and tell me a lot of stuff that I'm gonna have to break down anyways. <laughs> so stop, <laughs> stop. Wait, sex education was six years old. Yeah, sex education for six or oh, six years old and onwards, right? Uh, yeah, and onwards. Six years and onwards. But it depends on what they're breaking it down at six years old. And the people, like, the fact that we say six, six years, years, and we say six and, years, and we say sex education. Down. Okay, I'll give you an example, right? Okay. How, how do you break it, down it, six years it, old? If, like if, six years, six years. No, no, like, I know, but I'm, I'm going to tell you something, yeah. and I'm going to tell you from my perspective 
right, as cool. a per, as you know, as a person. From your if I had a six year old child, yeah, okay, cool. And with what I know about the huge amount of pedophilia in the place I live in, and then in my even in my country, gone how terrible people take advantage of little kids because we we last mm. year we read about That's, kids being raped and a four year old being raped and dying. I see your point. I'm gonna let you finish, but I think I know. I'll be you're telling doing. my child. A certain place, nobody should be able to touch you there. And the moment anybody touched that place, you gotta let me know. That's not sex education. It is sex education. No, it's not. No, no. I keep telling you. You see, that's what I'm saying. People think sex education, they just think about boom, boom, boom. Anything to no. do with your sexual organ is an education about your sex no, and about no, the, your identity. No, no, let's, not, let's not, let's not, let's not. This is my opinion. I think you don't want to misunderstand. Okay, what you just said. we're gonna Google what sex education is. <laughs> No, no, because yeah, no, because then it's not it's not it's not perspective anymore. I think you misunderstood what you yourself are saying. No, I'm I'm telling as I said because that that, I think you misunderstood. When when I let my child start reading about as uh, my child will not be reading about the Bible, God like the Bible stories and but that's another thing. But let's assume I let them read that. No, I'll tell them and I'll tell them how bad it is. But that's the whole thing. That's (laughs) a whole different conversation anyway. For sure, I'm not an atheist anyway. So what are you? I'm just a Sex human being. Sex education in Google. Let's let's stop that. Let's let's, <laughs> let's look at that. Because <laughs> right now, like we we'll definitely. Discuss I just said I'll, I'll, t- I'll talk to we'll, them about. We we'll definitely this. discuss this. Like cause this is definitely a whole religion. We we need to we need to dive into. So it, sex really. education. Uh, okay, I don't know how many people believe Wikipedia, but anyway, we we'll use Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm uh, just saying, but Somebody I, I need to <laughs> define it. For, no, but that, that's be, I'm just saying, like you know, yeah, yeah, where it's coming you. from, I'm so that people know where it's coming from. You. So, sex education, according to Wikipedia, is the instruction or issues relating to human sexuality, including emotional relationship, responsibility, human sexual anatomy, sexual activities, sexual reproduction, age of consent, reproductive health, reproductive rights, safe sex, birth control, and sexual abstinence. So, all that I'm saying, you know, sexual contact, all falls into that. Okay, so so and if so, somebody is so, there, you know, so wait, 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 wait. So you telling your kid about the fact that when they touched in areas they're not supposed to be touched, they should let you know. For you, that's just education. Yeah, you're educating them about the sexual okay, so uh, sexual for me, contact. For me, that's discipline. For me, <laughs> discipline. No, I tell you, I tell you what. Okay. For me, the kid don't need to understand why that's happening. Okay, with, well, with sex education, you have to explain to them why that's happened. Like what you just said there. No.